Hi guys, today we will start messing around with this new synthesizer which just came out and everyone's so overhyped about it. It's called as Vital and it looks just like this. We will start getting familiar with the synthesizer and we will just uh, have an insight, get an insight how to get the stuff going on here. Okay, um, the basic edition of the synthesizer is totally for free and you can upgrade it for 25 or 80 euros which will add more extra features like wavetables presets and the text wavetable um, speech function okay but let's start getting familiar with the synthesizer and let's try to tweak something psychedelic um, so here we have the initial preset here and what we could do is that we could make the um, adjustments for the wavetables the waveforms as you can see there are a lot of wavetables here and maybe let's try something FME. Uh, what do we have here on this section? Angry robot. Well, how about this one? Okay, let's go down. Here we have transpose option. 24 semitones, that's two octaves. Or 14 notes. All right. We want to morph this thingy. Um, how about adjusting these parameters here? Mm, Form and scale, harmonic stretch, phase disperse. Oh, so much extra things which I have no idea. Um, okay, let's. Okay, let's leave unison for one uh, for one voice. How about this effect? Four months. Okay, we could play around with these knobs. We want to affect these knobs um, with L4. So here we have the L4, and when you left click, hold your left click on your mouse. You can drag it on the desired parameter you can uh, you want to affect. That's how you will get the adjustments uh, and, and movement. Um, so here we have different LFO presets already made. We could try maybe this one. And also, let's drag it to the second parameter format. Okay, interesting. We could add some effects. So, as you can see here, we have extra effect section when you click on it you'll see that uh, you could add a lot of different effects like chorus, compression, delay, distortion, EQ, filter, flanger, phaser, and reverb. Um, we could add a delay at first. Let's press it on this little point of uh, activate it. And you could switch to modes like ping pong, play with the cuts off a bit, the spreading. Okay, let's change the right side to a tempo dotted maybe. Let's change maybe to one to four. All right. Let's add some distortion as well, and you can change the order here with the effect. You can drag it up or down in the order. And let's activate this distortion thing. Okay, we will play with this cutoff thing. Let's use LFO2. 
and hold your left mouse key and drag it to the cutoff. Let's change the frequency uh, time base. Let's affect also the resonance parameter. Pretty straightforward and nice, nicely sounding. Also, flanger we could use. Frequency flanger tempo. Let's keep messing around with these parameters a bit. Let's see how it sounds, let's hear it. Um, we could uh, add the filter. I want to get rid of the low end and I want to make, make a high pass. So, okay, here we have a filter section, filter 1, filter 2, and let's activate filter 1 by pressing on this point. And with this slider, you can morph between low pass and high pass, just like this, right? So let's switch to high pass. And now we want to affect the movement of this filter with this slider. So here we have uh, still the LFO1, LFO2. Okay, maybe let's use an array LFO. Let's drag LFO. Okay, also we have some randomizing things. Random 1, random 2. Um, let's try something random, maybe. Random. Um, let's affect it. Let's see. Did I affect the right parameter? Perlin style, um, not really familiar with this. Semblant hold, that's what I have heard at least once. Synchronizing options, stereo. Dotted. Sample and hold, sign interpolate, what is this?
Lawrence is director. No idea what this thing is. Okay, let's keep missing around the effects we have. Phaser, let's try this thing out. Let's drag it before flanger. Maybe let's disable the flanger so we can poorly f uh, hear the um, phaser. Descent is pretty much godlike, got to be honest here, man. <laughs> Knowing that this is for free, man, this is, I mean, this is like every, every producer's who's on budget dream. Like, I mean. This is pretty basic what I tweaked. I mean, if I would dive even more here, um, I think I could affect the parameters, the effects more and advanced. What is this round robin? <laughs> God be honest, uh, I still, you know, I have a lot of a, a lot to learn. But holy moly! <laughs> What else? Let's try different wave tables for fun. That's gonna be enough for our first, um, first, um, like, first rendezvous, first date, <laughs> getting familiar with the synthesizer. So it's pretty good surprise. I'm really thankful uh, to this uh, developer, Matt Title, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he has done a pretty damn good job got to be honest here anyway thanks for watching guys and i encourage you really to get the synth and start messing around with the sound design and get the stuff going on here it's a really great synthesizer so anyway thanks for watching and have a great time